Secure the bag, yeah. That's something that like people say a lot now, you know what I mean? I'm securing bags, I'm securing bags. Have we got to break down what does secure the bag? What does it really mean, yeah? And what does it mean for our lives? And like, what's the big deal? Like, what's the bag? Why are we trying to secure it? What are we doing here? What's, what's the situation here? We're going to break this down. We're going to go in, into this topic. I have another guest here. I've got a lovely lady here. We are going to break this down. So, like I say in all the videos, strap yourselves in. Get some food, mm -hmm. get some super malt, get some juice, you know, if you want to get some orange juice, apple juice, pineapple juice right here, that's kind of good. Get some soya, get mm -hmm. some jollof, mm -hmm. whatever you want to get, get all your food, get all your stuff ready. Like I said, strap yourselves in, put your 3D glasses on mm -hmm. because we are going for a ride and uh, you definitely want to see what we are talking about. So, uh, yeah, man, talks with Tonte, we are, we've got some stuff to talk about, yeah? So, uh, let's go. What is up my people? I thank you for watching this video. This is Tonte here. Talks with Tonte. And I'm here with a special guest. Talk to the people. I'm very excited about this one here. Talk to the people, my girl. Talk, talk, come on. Do your thing, do your thing. Let me let people know who you are. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Timmy. Um, but you can also find me on Twitter at Shiri. Okay. This girl here, she got a lot of a lot of um opinions about a lot of stuff, uh doing big things. She's securing the bag. She's securing her own bag. You know I mean, she's doing a lot. You know, she's giving talks at events and, and and things like that. So I had to get her up here, and I wanted to have a conversation. The topic of today's video is secure the bag, mm -hmm. right? We're talking, we're talking live here. This is a real topic here. Like, mm -hmm. secure the bag. What does that mean to you to secure the bag? What does that mean? This is 2018. Like, we're mm -hmm. not really here for games. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get that money. Uh -huh. Those seven streams of income. I like that. The current bag is just chas chasing your dreams. Mm. Like, honestly, just chasing whatever ideas you have. Go for it. Mm. Not letting yourself back. Mm. Like, if you have an idea, go for it. Collaborate, network, talk to people. Mm. But don't just sit at home, like, just thinking, like, what am I going to do? Because mm. then you won't do anything. That's what I'm saying. That's it. She said it better than I could have said, yeah. It's that, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like something that they're trying to go for, mm -hmm. yeah? But like, there's a lot of people that aren't trying to secure the bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, there was a period that even for me, I was like, at that point yeah, where you don't really know what you want to do, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You're, you're tr trying different things or whatever. And everyone else seems to be doing their things. Everyone seems to be out here doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, like, what's happening? But mm -hmm. I've learned that we all have our own things that we're that we're doing in it. We all have our own our own paths, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our own bags to chase. You know what I mean? Like their bag is not the same as my bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What I'm trying to go for is not the same as theirs. I definitely think like if you compare yourself with others, then that's that's the wrong way to go about mm. it. I think in terms of securing the bag is a very personal journey mm. because you have to know what am I actually good at, what am mm. I passionate about. Okay. And like I think that could be like just asking your friends like you know what what do you think i'm good at or just knowing like what do people ask you about mm. i think if you know people ask you for advice on a particular thing mm. then maybe you should like approach that more like yeah. definitely things to grow the bag is about about trying to you know understand yourself and see mm. how you can like make money yeah when i learned that people are making mm. money doing like doing things that you'd be like how is how is this person really making money doing that mm -hmm. but that's because they're securing their bag, they're, they're developing themselves in a certain area. Like, this is the thing that they know how to do. Mm -hmm. You find out how to monetize it. When I realized everything, could, a lot, so much can be monetized in this world, man. That's, That's the one thing I realized is that once you have mm -hmm. something that you know how to do mm -hmm. or people know you for, mm -hmm. it makes it always like, oh, you always do this. Mm -hmm. You're always doing this. Mm -hmm. Something that you're good at, turn it into, like, into something that you can, you can monetize, you know. But how do you think people go about finding like, things that they're, like, they're good at? I think sometimes you know mm. what you're good at, like the things that you enjoy. But I even think like with business, it's just about starting small, mm. seeing what is around you. Mm. Like you don't have to start big or like have like a funding. Like honestly, if you know that you're good at advice, start a blog, mm. start a podcast. Mm. I mean like, especially with technology, there's so much you can do. Mm. There's so many apps out there. There's so many like websites that can help you kind of like showcase your, yourself in different ways but i definitely think you just have to like look around you that's the first step like okay what do i have because starting a business requires a lot of time mm. and money mm. 
Mm. But then if you know you don't have the funds to like fund your dreams right now, what can you do to mm. like get yourself to that stage? You gotta invest in yourself. That's another point. Mm. You have to invest in yourself. Like you need to know what courses do you need to kind of like improve your skills. Like having natural talent sometimes is not enough. Like mm. you need to go research on Google, like Google's my best friend. Mm. If you know you need like to learn how to paint, go for like painting classes. Even there's stuff like Roundhouse for if you want to learn how to do like creative stuff, whether mm. it's recording something. And there's so many opportunities out there that people don't even know about. Mm. Just Google opportunities for photographers, yeah. opportunities for writers. Yeah. And the stuff that comes up, honestly, that's how you get yourself out there. Mm. That's what you said there, getting yourself out of there. That's mm -hmm. like, how can you secure the bag if people don't know you? For you to really out, get out there and get it, people need to know you. That's you got to be out there, you got to talk to people. You got to put yourself out there. People that are building platforms to showcase what they do. You're on the step to securing the bag. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because now, if people know you as this is the guy, this is the guy or girl that is is doing this, mm -hmm. and he's always putting himself out there doing that. Mm -hmm. He's doing. I can't think of an example, but doing tattoos. But you always see man doing tattoos. Yeah. Everyone, you just see him on Instagram or whatever, or whatever. He's managed to doing tattoos. Eventually, the people that want tattoos are gonna be like, "Fam, the only guy I know that's doing tattoos is him." Yeah. And I see that they're patterning their stuff. Mm -hmm. you let me go to them. People know you now. Yeah. Just kill the bag. Make yourself known. Be someone that people actually like care about your opinion or care about your expertise about a certain thing. Mm -hmm. And there you go. You're on your step. You know what I mean? I definitely think like personal branding mm. is so key. Mm. Like you have to see yourself as a brand. Mm. You have to think, okay, when people see me, what what do they like? What do I want them to think about me? Mm. And I think from there you can kind of move on to like what you want to do, whether it's giving talks. Mm. I know like with public speaking, if that's something you want to do, go to your school, like mm. tell them about your journey, like practice public speaking before you know. Hone your craft, yeah. man. That's that's important, man. You have to practice, but like for real, if you don't open your mouth, if you don't network, people will know that you're good at what you do. And then like your talent is just wasted. That's what I'm saying. I definitely feel like if you make yourself a brand, like you have to think about, okay, I need to write more. Mm. First of all, write a lot more. Mm. Have a blog. Mm. Let people know that you have a voice. Do you get what I mean? Because the internet mm. is a huge space. Yeah. So let people know that you have a voice. Podcast is another good idea. If that, you know, let people know that you people have a voice. Podcast, you know, it's a big it's a big platform now. People are really taking that into like into new like, yeah. new places, man. You know what I mean? It didn't used to be there before. People podcasting um, and, and doing stuff in there, securing bags. You know what I mean? Yeah. Continue, please. I think it's because, like, someone told me that certain things that will never ever go out of, like, style mm. is your sense, your senses. So whether it's, like, what you see, so, like, visuals, mm. what you hear, podcasts, mm. you know, what you feel, what you touch, eating, mm. events. Mm. I definitely think, like, if you're going to make your personal branding, write more do you like podcasts mm. do public speaking as well you just want people to know that you're out there create events mm. think about okay what do i like start a youtube channel do you know what i mean like, if, if you want to but yeah. not everybody wants to start youtube nah, hey but that, that's a big way people like people like for really cement themselves as mm -hmm. like an influencer or people need to see your face you have to be seen obviously that's just, a, that's just an avenue mm -hmm. podcasting writing just any way that you can showcase what you do in the best possible way mm -hmm. you gotta do that yeah mm -hmm. i definitely think like even with um communities i think right now what's even big right now is like communities mm. how do you create your community mm. how do you create you know a team mm. or a group of like-minded people mm. so let's say you know there's lots of stuff like black girls um book club yeah shout out. Um, <laughs> if you like knitting start a knitting club mm. ask people on twitter who knits i think creating a community is more important because being an influencer, you have to have engagement with your community, right? There you go. And it doesn't have to be like huge, right? You can be a small, like you have, you can have a small community, but you have a high engagement. Look at your friends. What are your friends good at? Mm. How can these guys collaborate? That's what I'm talking. Talk, turn the volume up on this, man. <laughs> no, turn the volume up. For real, like, what are your friends good at? How can they help you? Because to be fair, like, with this life and like with things in general you need a team mm. and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a fancy mm. team but who are your key partners mm. who do you know mm. go to your linkedin mm. 
see who's in your connection go to your twitter okay. see see who you know this person can be good at this or i know this person is good at that mm -hmm. how can i collaborate with that mm -hmm. person i definitely think if we're going to secure the bag this year collaboration is a, oh, it's this, a huge key this is why i had her on this is why i had her on is she it, said it so nice said it she just landed there's people that you know mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you don't have to look out there in the wilderness but there's people that you know or someone that someone that Someone that you know knows someone mm -hmm. that does maybe something that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Look for them. Collaborations. You work hard, you create opportunities. Mm -hmm. You give opportunities to other people that are working hard to create their own opportunities. Mm -hmm. That collaborative, that collaborative effort, you working together. Mm -hmm. You all secure the bag. Mm -hmm. That you should, you secure a bigger bag because now you've got a better product. You can't secure the bag like on your own, really, man. You, it's, it's, it's possible, mm -hmm. but. To really secure the bag out here, like you've got to work with people. Like if you want to take what you're doing to the next level, if you need someone that's gonna design something for you, mm -hmm. you might need a website, someone that knows how to put together events, mm -hmm. you might need all kinds of things, you know, yeah. artists need managers, you know, that's true. all kinds of things, yeah. That's like once you combine your all your all your efforts, mm -hmm. now you're really securing bags. Now yeah. you can really put something together. And this goes this goes very well with um, the relevant news about uh, YouTube starting to do with the um, monetization mm -hmm. and that they're not really giving ads like they used to because of a lot of stuff that's happening. Um, so ad so advertisers aren't really going, like aren't really giving their money to YouTube like they used to. I said, but a lot of people are upset about it. And I said, no, it's even a good thing because now it's motivating people to really create brands, mm -hmm. to, to really, to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And when, you, when you're consistent, you can create a platform. Now, once you create a platform, mm -hmm. you can now use that platform and monetize it. Mm -hmm. You can monetize that platform into so many different things. That's you true. talked earlier about events. Now you're looking at products. Mm -hmm. You're looking at services. Mm -hmm. Once you have established everything that you've said, your 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 key partners, the people that you your your niche, like mm -hmm. what you're doing, what your thing is, what your brand, your 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 USB is, your your niche, your audience. You can now apply this platform mm -hmm. and secure the bank. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's how we're securing bags. Mm -hmm. Build platforms, build brands, personal branding. Mm -hmm. And pivot. Pivot, leverage, leverage your platform. And now you can, like we said, we're securing bags. There's a lot of people out there, they're probably watching this video like, man, I would love to be out there and secure the bag. I'm seeing my mate secure the bag. I'm seeing all of this. And I would love to be a part of it, but mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm, like you said, I don't know what I'm, like we talked about earlier, I don't know what I'm good at or uh, they have fear or they have doubt or whatever like what do you tell these people because it's a, it's a big mm -hmm. thing like you know what I mean yeah. people think oh I can't be like that mm -hmm. I can't be that guy mm -hmm. I can't be her mm -hmm. someone so made a book I can't do a book mm -hmm. I can't do that you know what I mean like what, yeah. do you, what do you say to those people that are like afraid to secure the bag it's not even necessarily that they, they don't want you they're just afraid mm -hmm. you can't be successful if you don't take risks mm -hmm. like, simple as that but I definitely think you need people around you to keep you accountable mm. and I definitely feel like if you take the risk you know just once mm. see how it goes you know maybe not turn it into a full business maybe you know have a project maybe mm. that might seem less scary mm -hmm. and then if you do as a project and it's successful I think it'll give you the confidence to be like okay yeah I can now make this into a business like you know people actually like this idea I hear that and I feel like you know starting small allows you to grow allows mm. you to learn mm. you know don't try to like make a big thing so quick starting small allows you to kind of see okay I think it allows you to analyze in each stage mm. yeah getting feedback from yeah. people is very important asking people to you know opinion okay what do you think about this how do you think i can improve this because we're all learning you know we can't get there we don't all know you know the tricks or how to like secure the bag like yeah. we all are learning together there's no formula to secure the bag see there's no formula people will be like oh they did this that ain't guaranteed to work for you <laughs> you know what i mean that's real that the whole thing about starting small mm -hmm. i think is very important to like mm -hmm. you start small and you cherish the small victories you yeah. set little milestones you love to be at the top mm -hmm. but there's little you got to take the little steps bro and, and that's what puts a lot of, actually, in my opinion that's what puts mm -hmm. a lot of people off securing their own bags because they want to be here mm -hmm. they want to be here at the top they don't know that there's, there's little steps in it you got to do this and you got to keep going up and up and you got to keep setting yourself these little milestones mm -hmm. and like he said when you start small and you keep progressing and you keep honing your craft i think honing your craft yeah 
to me, I, I, I'm a fan of that, man. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a fan of the process. That the, sat, the satisfaction comes from that long process of you developing yourself in an area that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And you keep up um, progressing, keep mm -hmm. honing your craft, keep developing yourself, keep putting yourself out there, mm -hmm. getting the feedback, taking the losses, taking the L's, taking the, the setbacks, mm -hmm. and learning from it, growing from it, mm -hmm. going to the next level. And then that opportunity comes, you're ready for it. Because guess what, I've been, I've been grinding for so long, I've been doing my thing for so long, mm. I'm ready to go out and get not only the bag, but the bag and more. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's real life. How many people you see out here that's working, but I've been working for years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how many people out here getting, getting Oscars, but they've been working for Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, like, it was in mad films. That's true. Mad films. Films that I was like, that was a good film. He, he didn't get nothing for it. Mm. And he only got his Oscar recently. Like, yeah. recently. Like obviously he secured bags in, in bags in his own area, mm -hmm. but if if we're just using that as an example of all that work and all the setbacks he took, yeah, and mm -hmm. eventually got it. Yeah. You know, that's what it's like. Long term gratification, I think that is um an important mindset in securing the bag. You know, what do you think about that? Like long long term versus short term. The problem is we keep focusing on the, on the goal mm -hmm. and we don't enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. Like in securing the bag yeah you're gonna secure the bag mm -hmm. but then think about it in your in the path to securing the bag you're gonna develop your character okay you're gonna learn lots of stuff okay. and i feel like yes it's cliche to hear like there's gonna be setbacks but that's needed for growth the biggest thing about securing the bag is that you grow as a person mm -hmm. you grow in character you grow in tenacity you know you have that grit that you won't get by just sitting down. Listen. Do you get what I mean? Listen. So I feel like with enjoying the process, like you you learn a whole lot more. If you see Super and Bag as like a learning process and not just a gratification process, mm -hmm. then it kind of pushes you to kind of keep going because it's about the passion. Mm -hmm. And it's not what you're going to get That's at right. the end. I always like to personalize a lot of stuff that I talk about in my videos. Mm -hmm. So like what I'm doing is my version of I'm trying to secure my own bag, you know. I would love to, you know, take something from, from YouTube and put myself out there mm -hmm. and do big things, events that's coming and throwing ways to monetize it. But mm -hmm. I knew you know, I gotta take there's certain there's certain mm -hmm. things I gotta do. Me moving out was a big version of that. Mm -hmm. Because obviously me doing that, now I got space to invite guests over, mm -hmm. now I have a platform, mm -hmm. now I can put myself out and I can do videos. Mm -hmm. And me doing this, raw. People are getting to know me. I'm actually building myself as a, as a person of um, you know, that is like, oh, okay, I'm interested in what he has to say. Now down the line, when it's time to take this to the next level, go wherever I want to go, mm -hmm. there's that. You know what I mean? There's that backing. But mm -hmm. but I spend a lot of money just to move out, bro. Listen, certain times people ask me out, it ain't happening, bro. You know what I mean? Like, don't call me now. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it, January is a we're in January now. It's a it's a it's a tough month, bro. You ask me to go out where? Where do you want me to go out? Mm -hmm. What's what's the benefit? Now I'm looking yeah. at what's the benefit? Before, let me just can't wheel one, let me just go outside my house. Nah, bro, now <laughs> I got money tied up in other areas. This is all because I feel passionate about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And if it goes somewhere, then I've secured the back because I have a plan. You know what I mean? I know that. So I'm just I just like to personalize everything. So we ain't just talking here. Like no, I'm I'm putting this into action. I want to secure my back. I'm gonna mm -hmm. reference this video, and I was like, yeah, I told you. <laughs> you gotta take losses, man. It might be financial. Mm -hmm. You know how many people take financial losses to to, to you secure your bag. Or you lost a couple bags, you know, in the process. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It'd be like that sometimes, you know what I mean? I, I think it's important to actually, like, point that out. Like, mm -hmm. in securing the bag, like, you lose, you have to sacrifice mm -hmm. people, you know, a lot for it. I think for me, it's sleep. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't sleep mm -hmm. anymore. Like, I have to, like, plan my time. Okay. So this time I'm going to do this, that time I'm going to do this, I'm going to go to that meeting, and I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. But I know that the end goal is going to justify, like, the means and mm -hmm. the hustle. And I think like the greatest thing about screwing the bag is you have to be open to people saying no to you. Okay, ooh, that's interesting. That's a, <laughs> like, I like that one. Because first of all, you have to be open to people saying no to you. And then second of all, you have to go for things that you might be underqualified for. Mm. And just be like, I like this. <laughs> I'm going to buy yeah. it. And I think like for me, that's how I kind of live my life. Like if I know I, I'm, I'm good at something, I don't look at the qualifications. I apply anyway mm. and I think even with like applying for jobs and stuff like 
call the company up, speak to HR, like ask them questions, you know, get familiar with the company before you actually start applying. Mm. So that by the time you're like, oh, I remember you, I spoke to you on the phone. Uh-huh. You know, familiarity, like going to networking events. And if you know, like you need a, like a new job or like a new opportunity, don't be afraid to ask for it. I think mm. if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get anything. You ain't going to secure the bag if you don't ask for it, man. I mean, so many, so many opportunities come. Yeah. So many opportunities. I know, like, from my mates mm-hmm. and situation myself, so many opportunities came when I just asked for it. Mm-hmm. Ask. I just, so I'm, I'm interested in this, da, da, da. I'm interested in... Yeah, there was something there, mm-hmm. you know, and, and something came from it. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how life is, man. You've got to... Yeah. Um, Push, you gotta push for it. People say talk about shoot your shot. People shoot their shot for opportunity. I like people that shot their shot for opportunities. Mm-hmm. How many people are you see on Twitter that was like, oh, I'd love to work with you, Ooh. and then, then they work to you directly from that. You know what I mean? That's that's real, bro. That's what I've seen it. There's a guy who gave his business card to Prince Harry. See, secure the bag. It's- Create your own opportunity. This is what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Keep going. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> um, taking the risk. Like if you know. You have someone that you want them to be your mentor. Send them an email. Mm-hmm. The worst that they can say is no, mm-hmm. but at least you tried. Mm-hmm. I think my mom always says like a closed mouth is a, is like a closed blessing. Mm-hmm. If you don't ask, you won't get. So there you if, go. If you know you want, I don't know, you want to intern in a specific fashion firm or in just any fashion mm-hmm. firm. Send email everybody, call everybody. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Listen. I feel like you have to be very proactive with what you want and very intentional. Like. You have to push for it. You mm. can't say, okay, okay, I have this idea. That's real lovely. And then you tell your friends, okay, I have this idea. Your idea is just going to sit there. You, sometimes you have to go outside the scope of your friends. Okay. Go see Eventbrite. Okay. If you know you're interested in, I don't know, DJing mm-hmm. or like, yeah, DJing, for mm-hmm. example, go to music events. Talk to them, you know, man. Speak to DJs. <sighs> ask them questions. Oh, can I shadow you? You know, can I, you know, spend, you know, spend time with you? Let me see what you're doing. Obviously, some people are going to say no, mm-hmm. but taking that step to actually ask people for stuff goes a great deal in securing the bag. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you know you're passionate about something, don't be afraid to let people know that you're passionate about don't it. Don't be afraid. Listen. And if you know they're influencers, definitely approach them. Mm-hmm. You know, definitely also get a mentor. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't stress how important it is. Get a mentor. Even if they're your age and you know they're doing something that you want, you know, you want to do, don't hate. Don't mm-hmm. be jealous. Uh-huh. Ask them. Uh-huh. Say, you know, I really like what you're doing. It's really inspiring. You know, I want to do this too. Can you give me any advice? Mm-hmm. That way, you're getting knowledge. You know, knowledge is sharing from. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't be afraid to be. Don't be afraid to help other people, bro. Because there's bags that be that, that can be secured from just mm. helping someone out. Mm. I help this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just give some give them some advice, mm-hmm. some motivation. Mm-hmm. They do their thing. They they eventually end up patterning their thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they become successful in it. They remember you mm-hmm. that gave them advice that was like, bro, I remember this person here mm-hmm. helping me out, da, da, da. Now, I'm gonna give them an opportunity. Mm-hmm. It's literally, you can, you can see people on the way up and on the way down. There's people that you can help that can be in a position to help you. Mm-hmm. And now you're all securing bags. Yeah. There's people that you don't, you choose not to help. And now, when they're in a position that they can actually be of help, they remember that, oh, I remember that person there. Mm-hmm. They didn't, they didn't want to do this. That yeah. person might decide, I'm not going to work with this person. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to work with this person because I've, I've always seen them. I, I saw them on the way up. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know people that helped me on the way up. I would love to give them an opportunity on the way up if, if that so happens to be the case. Mm-hmm. There's people that would do the same for me. Yeah. That's how networking works and building yeah. relationships and, and all of that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that's securing the bag. It's, yeah. it's that energy, you know what I mean? That energy returning to you. As simple as that. Yeah, I definitely think like with networking, it's definitely not a one way street. Definitely. You can't just approach people. You also have to think, okay, what value can I add? Oh, okay. This is what I'm oh, you know what I mean? yeah, like, yeah. What value can I actually add to this mm-hmm. person? Don't just gonna be like, oh, hey, can you please help me? Let's work. Let's work. You ain't got no plan. What, what, what does working to You know what I mean? What, what does that Let's mean? Let's build. Let's build what, mate? Take the pyramids. What do you want to build? If you know you're approaching people, definitely have a plan. Definitely like know what value you're adding mm-hmm. to that person because it's like, what do you bring into the table? You know, because then the person will feel like they're being used. Mm-hmm. Win win situations. Yeah, win win situations. And be intentional. Like, don't just ask for the sake of asking. Like, mm-hmm. you have to be intentional when you're approaching people so that they know that you're serious. Mm-hmm. 
if you know you're not first of all actually i need to say this if you know you're not a serious person and you don't want to start like uh-huh. you're hesitant uh-huh. don't approach people because if you damage that relationship it's gonna come and bite you mm. further on the line mm-hmm. so know when you're approaching people when you're coll- collaborating mm-hmm. you're serious mm-hmm. that thing about being intentional have a plan if i know this is what i'm doing mm-hmm. how can this person if i'm if i'm going to approach this person mm-hmm. how can this person be of help to me or how can i be of help to them mm-hmm. now you create a win-win i think the best situations are win-wins like mm-hmm. in businesses win-wins a situation where i'm getting this from you mm-hmm. and you're getting that from me mm-hmm. now none of us are really losing we're both gaining something mm-hmm. you might be gaining more than me but i'm still gaining mm-hmm. that's a win if i'm gaining from you you're gaining from me then of course well, let's work let's now let's build mm-hmm. now we're, we're, we're building something mm-hmm. we're just building in the mud for no reason <laughs> Where yeah. is purpose, intention. But you know, even with that, I think you have to be careful as well mm. on who you tell your visions to mm. and who you tell like your, your plans mm-hmm. to because not everyone has a good spirit. Mm. And it's not like I'm trying to be like a pessimist, but mm. I think you have to also guide guard your like idea or mm-hmm. vision. Be very, very careful when choosing the people you know you want to like approach. Mm. Because if you approach the wrong person, it can be detrimental to your dream or to your brand or mm-hmm. to what you're trying mm-hmm. to grow. So I definitely think like research, 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 research. Make sure that who you're approaching is actually gonna help you. That's it, man. That's it. So we'll be talking for a minute, yeah? Mm-hmm. So um I think we're gonna wrap it up here. I think just to finish off, just to wrap up what we talked about. Securing bags, man. Securing bags is something that we all can do. Everyone can secure a bag mm-hmm. in their own way, in it. Like that thing that you do, or something that you just are passionate about, right? Mm-hmm. We all have that some that thing, that thing that we are passionate about. But a lot of people they end up not taking it further. Mm-hmm. They not they don't try to monetize it. They don't try to even just even just do it on a on a passion level. Just a, mm-hmm. they don't you know what I mean? And you're blocking your blessings doing that. Yeah. And saying, I want you understand about when you hold into that energy energy of. Just this is what I'm doing. I enjoy mm-hmm. doing it. Let me try and keep doing it as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Would you do that? That's when you can be on your path to securing the bag. And that's it, really. So when we all have our own, own bags to secure, which how you want to go about doing it. We all have, we all have our own paths, isn't it? You just go about taking yours and being consistent, mm-hmm. having a plan, finding a way to work it, meeting the right people, and going from there. You know what I mean? Personal branding, collaborating. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's all about securing the bag. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're going to end on that topic here yeah? mm-hmm. because, um, yeah, that, that was interesting, man. I hope people got something from it, you know, like this platform talks to Tonsi. Like I said in the other video and other videos where we ain't just banter, but this is real life topics I want to talk about that can actually help people, ben- like benefit people. Mm-hmm. You know, we can all get some knowledge. I'm, I'm, there's bags I'm trying to secure, bro. I'm trying to secure all my bags, you know what I mean? We've got to talk about it and share the knowledge and share. And, and try and find ways to, to put stuff together in it. That's what's important. Yeah. That's why I'm glad that we you know doing these videos. So I'm glad I'm having girls like Stephanie here. But that's it, man. You wanna tell me where they can find you? I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love them to talk to you more, use your service, like, you know what I mean? Work with you, build, you know, secure the bag with you, you know what I mean? Talk to the people, man. Like, how can they find you? <laughs> so on Twitter is Afro Sheree, mm-hmm. so A F R O C H E R I. Yeah. Um, LinkedIn is definitely to me. When you say LinkedIn, you probably see like she does a lot of stuff. <laughs> she, like, when I tell you, this girl securing uh, her own bags is you only want to understand. Follow her, see what she's talking about. Yeah, man, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching or listening to this. If you're watching on YouTube, mm-hmm. thanks for uh, watching. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, share the video. If you're listening on the podcast. Thank you for listening. This is uh, talk, Talking with Tonte on, on um, SoundCloud and iTunes. This is Talks with Tonte. Follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Talk with Tonte. And we are out, people. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we are out, people. Bye. Splash. <laughs>